Well, I think first that we have unfinished business, so there's still some time to go, and I think it's really important because we cannot embark upon the post-2015 agenda without really finishing that off. But if there are lessons learned, it, it has been that we've left so many behind. Um, in, in a sense where the countries that have grown the most, become middle-income countries, have the, the bulk of the poor. So the inequality issue, the gender issue, uh, these are the human rights, the rule of law, uh, governance. These are all things that really we didn't quite get. And I think that we have the opportunity to integrate that now in a much more real way uh, to get the results that will include all. So when we say a universal agenda for all, then we're going to define better the all and make sure that we impact the lives of everyone. Well, I think, first of all, we have to look at the issues of slums as a symptom and not the root cause. And so when we're going to think about urbanization and all the population dynamics that go with it and the different services that are expected, we need to put people at the center and look at it as, a, as an organic way of moving forward with the urbanization agenda so that it does respond and not um, react. Uh, to the situation and I think that for the first time we have an opportunity where those in um, the urbanization constituency will be able to have an integrated discussion on how that fits at development at the local level. So while we've got this global agenda and we will have global goals, when we start to target what happens at each country level, countries out of conflict, coming out of conflict will have a much better chance at addressing urbanization starting from scratch and perhaps greening their environments much more easier. Those that have already got huge huge mega cities need to find a way that they will transition to a new one um, and they need to see people at the center of that and if you see people at the center of it you won't wait until it's too late you'll plan for it and I think putting that planning at the center uh, in a way that's transitional it won't happen overnight uh, but that is inclusive they are about the future they're about now um, so engaging them is opening up the spaces for them to tell us what they want um, and then to involve them in crafting what it is that we're going to do to find the solutions for the next 15 years. Um, what is clear to me is that you're going to be carrying the burden. Young people will carry the burden. They have the aspirations, they have the energy, they have the vision. It's their world. What we can do is facilitate, take lessons from the past, give them the tools, the skills, facilitate that they make it. And, and I, I think that's the best that we can do. But they've got to be involved, and they are. We've opened up spaces. We've used the, the, the media that they're comfortable with. We haven't excluded those who don't have access to the media. Um, and for a global agenda, it's the youth that are going to make it global. They're the ones that cross borders without even asking. Uh, they're the ones who, who, who do that because the internet is available. Um, and they don't see each other with color or all the hang-ups that the rest of us uh, perhaps have done in the past. So I think it's a brave new world and it's theirs. Big role. If we're going to talk about building systems and capacities for sustainability, it has to start from the bottom up. Yes, there will be an awful lot that will come from policy making and if it in integrates those needs, uh, we will meet somewhere in the middle. But we have to address over time the seeding of the building of that capacity. We cannot keep putting it off because putting it off creates the slums that you talk about. It creates the insecurity that we have. It creates all the migration problems uh, that, that we will have. Uh, so I think it's important that from now we begin to address that and we don't see um, a local government or a locality um, as the poor relation, that we see it in fact as the quality of what we do for our societies and, and moving forward in development.